I'm Murray Roberts, WNEW News. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a program of love and hate with Cicely Tyson as your hostess. Here's a preview. Where are you going? Home to cool off. Well, shouldn't we settle this first? Settle what? In my mind, I think we're great. The marriage is terrific. Right now, I can't deal with the doubts in your mind. You're going to have to try and work them out yourself. Good night. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. In 1954, Hurricane Carol battered Long Island. Hurricane Edna smashed inland at Cape Hatteras. And Hazel, the most violent hurricane of the year, killed 348 persons in the U.S. and Canada. The first supersonic bomber went into production, and Linus Pauling received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Saturday night after the 8 o'clock news, join me, Stan Martin, and relive 1954 on a WNEW Million Dollar Weekend. I can't stay awake any longer, George. It'll be on right after the night owl movie. It's 4.30 in the morning. It's a fantastic 10-second commercial, Helen, and I'm standing right there pointing to the car. It grabs. Oh, oh, uh, what? You on yet, Georgie? Not yet, but you're falling asleep. What's this on my forehead? Cheese dip, Gramps. Oh. Yeah, fell asleep in the cheese dip. Must have fallen asleep in the cheese dip. Oh, oh, George, why does your TV commercial have to be on so late? Our ad budget could only afford fringe time, but that's okay, because a lot of people are up to... Gramps! Oh, I'm up. Are you on the TV? No, but soon. Well, I'm all set right here next to to the TV, I wouldn't miss you for... If your advertising isn't reaching the people you want, radio definitely will. With its many different formats, radio reaches every lifestyle. So you can target more messages to exactly who you want, when you want, at a price you can still afford. Okay, Helen, here it comes. Oh, Gramps, it's George, it's George! Uh, oh, I'll get it. Let me turn off the TV first. Hello, George. Must have hung up. Oh, oh, want to wake up your advertising? Try radio. It's right on the button. A message from the Radio Advertising Bureau. This is Cicely Tyson. Spring is coming late this year, but chilly winds haven't kept the lunchtime crowd away from this urban park, a bit of downtown greenery in a Midwestern city. Businessmen, secretaries, and school kids play football, throw frisbees, and everyone is eating and having fun with their friends. Except Mildred Ferber, sitting by herself near the park fountain. She doesn't have to eat alone. She could eat with her co-workers at Red Robin Tie Company. But Mildred, who just turned 50, doesn't fit in with the others. She's not young, and she's not married. The girls call her mom and enjoy embarrassing her with suggestive remarks about her private life. So Mildred goes to the park alone and watches the seasons change. But spring is late this year. And Mildred is chilled by the thought that warm sunshine may never arrive. Hey, lady! You all right? I'm real sorry our frisbee hit you. <laughs> no harm done. At least it's plastic. Here you are. Thanks. Nobody ever sits here until the fountain gets turned on. What you doing? Waiting for somebody? No, I'm just waiting for spring, I guess. Because it... Well... Yeah. Well, like you said, real sorry! Yeah, just waiting for spring, waiting for the fountain. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm not unhappy, but I'm not happy either. Oh, what's happening to me? And that's only the beginning of our story. Sears Radio Theater. A new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, The Season of Glad Songs by Annie Caroline Schuler. Our stars, Francis Bay and Jack Crucian. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. Super Plus. Wrap yourself in the luxury of Sears. Super Plus. Bath towels. Just one touch will tell you they're super thick and luxurious. With more combed cotton terry loops per square inch than any other towel we sell. Each towel weighs over a pound. They're Sears' largest terry bath towels. Super thick and absorbent. No wonder they're called Super Plus.
Available now in brilliant solids or patterns. Why, after just a few laundrings, my fashion t-shirts look all out of shape. Not so with Sanford Knit Fabric T-shirt tops from Sears. They're 100% cotton, cool and comfortable, and treated with a process that helps these garments keep their shape, even when machine-dried. So your fashion dollar keeps its shape, too. Sanford Knit tops in Mrs. Sizes are Sears' best. And this spring, when color is headlining fashion news, you'll be thrilled at the choice of rainbow colors. Dim lights, a crackling fire, and Sears Open Hearth Living Room Furniture help you feel the glow of days long past. It's cozy, high-back colonial-style furniture with solid pine trim. Available in a large selection of covers treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector. Complementing wood tables and accent pieces complete the charm. Enjoy its quiet, cheery warmth every day. Sears Open Hearth Living Room Furniture, built to be lived with. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. The lunch hour ends and people drift away from the park back to offices and shops, leaving only a few small children and an elderly man who sits still as stone on a weathered bench. One of the last to leave is Mildred. Back to work. Will it be as bad this afternoon? Why do those girls always at me? Just because I'm older than they are? Or never... and single? Why can't they just leave me alone? They're chipping us on lunch break. I don't see my 45 minutes already. Yeah, it is. Hey, here comes Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom, you pick up a cute guy out there for lunch? Shush, look at that neckline on the house dress. Probably got a pant for some of your jokes. <laughs> Come on, Mom, you can tell us. What's his name? How far do you go? Now, time to get back to work, isn't it? I start when Mr. Berg gets back. Mr. Berg is back. Uh, yes, Mr. Supervisor. No, no, wait, wait. Shut him off, will you please? Shut him off. I got an announcement. Now, the production is way down. So we called in an efficiency expert. Now, this is Mr. Franklin. Now, you're going to tell him whatever he wants to know. Just continue with your regular work as he passes among you. Are there any questions? I got a question for Mr. Franklin. All right, go ahead. You got a first name, Mr. Franklin? <laughs> yes, it's James. Uh, Jim. Look, Yvonne, this isn't the social hour. I don't hour. see no wedding ring. Rita, would you just cool it? <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, everybody, back to work. Uh, Mildred, come into my office. You too, Mr. Frank. All right. Mr. Franklin, this is Mildred Faber. She's been here a long time. She really knows the business. She can, she, she can tell you better than any of those new flirties out there. Mrs. Faber? Uh, Miss Mildred. Uh, Mr. Franklin... Uh, Jim. I, I don't know what help I can be. I'm just the finishing presser. Ties come to me from the turner, and I put the form in the wide pointed end. Steam press it, then form the narrow end by hand and mm -hmm. press that. Hmm. So the ties go from the turner to you. A and before the turner... Uh, the slow down. Sure don't lie, Mildred. She's the best worker we have. I never figured I knew so much about the making of men's ties until Mr. Franklin... Jim came along... Oh, he asked us all, all of us, about our jobs. But somehow, Jim always ended up at my table. I guess I filled in the gaps. Put it all together, as Yvonne and Rita would say. Oh, Yvonne and Rita. Now they have another way of teasing me. Mildred, now once more. The cutters cut material and linings, and then the operators sew the hems... And the pocket. E yes. Then the pocket presser steams down the pocket. Then the narrow machine operators... That's Merrer. Uh, M-E-R-R-O-R... -R -R. No, no. M-E-R-R-O-W. Oh, I see. Merrow. Mm-hmm. 
The Merrill machine aligns the linings and sews the center back seam. I see. That's I... right, Mildred. Sock it to him with that sexy talk. Made on a mom. <laughs> What's next? What? Uh, after the Merrill machine operator? Yeah, yes, after the Merrill machine, that would be the Turners. Uh, they have a turning machine. A uh, turning machine. That's uh, the only name it's called, I think. Yes, I, I, I believe it is. So the, the uh, Turners just turn the tie, which doesn't take much time. Except on certain material, like silk. Mm -hmm. Silk's got to be hand-turned because it creases so easily. I see. When it creases, we got to work twice as hard and take twice as long smoothing it out. Whoa, listen to that talk. Us young kids shouldn't have to listen to such film. You tell her, hey, Mom, you want to make out with that guy? Do it on your own time. You're getting us all excited. Uh, uh, then uh, after the Turners, you take over, well, is that right? Uh, yeah. After the Turners. Well, how's it going? Oh, just fine, just fine, Mr. Bird. Hey. What's the matter, Mildred? Yeah, what's the matter, Mom? What's the matter, Mom? Hey, look, you two, back to work. Well, Mildred was just telling me what happens to the tie after the turners get Yes, the, the ties come to me, the finishing presser. I see. I form the tie, steam press it, then it goes to the inspector who checks the tie and keeps record of the ties as they're done. Mm-hmm. Isn't she a wonder? <laughs> I'm telling you, she's a real wonder, and not like some workers around here. Please continue. Well, all that's left are the packers who make the ties ready to ship or deliver. Uh-huh. That's very good. Thank you. And now I'll, I'll just move around. <laughs> hey, Mom, that was heartwarming, just heartwarming. When's the next show? The next time, how about mixing in some real entertainment? Hey, Mr. Franklin, why don't you take off something? Like all your clothes. Oh, <laughs> hey, now that's class. But if he does, Mom can't let him do it alone, right? <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, girls. Cut it out. Enough's enough. We can't hear you, Mr. Franklin. We all busy working. Better tell Mom this. She ain't busy. Mr. Berg. Yeah, Milton. I need to... Uh, well, I, I've got to have lunch early today. Oh? Yeah. You caught up? No, but... Well, please, Mr. Berg, I don't ask for favors. But I, I really... Oh, sure, 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 sure. Okay. But you'll have to stay late. Yes, Mr. Burr. Hey, what's with Mildred? What shook her up so? I'd ask Yvonne and Rita to explain. But, uh, they're so busy working, you know what I mean? showers are really coming down. So are the prices during Sears Home and Yardware Sale. If you could use some help in the kitchen, here's the answer. A Kenmore half-horsepower food waste disposer. Cut $15. Not to mention $70 savings on our best Kenmore portable or undercounter dishwashers. Both feature three-level wash action, plus a pots and pans cycle, and professional installation is available. Sale ends April 28th. Prices are really coming down during Sears Home and Yardware Sale. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Sears National Automotive Sale. Now, save $36 to $68 on a set of four Sears Road Handler radial tires. That's great savings on Sears Best steel belted radials. And save on steady riders, Sears Best heavy duty shocks, the ones even Joey Chitwood's stunt team didn't wear out in a whole season. Now, only $9.99 each. You save over 20%. Installation available at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop. Oh, here I go again. It's time to rent one of those steam-type carpet cleaners. Why rent? Now Sears puts power in a carpet cleaner you can own yourself. The power spray from Sears for easy home carpet cleaning. Power spray sprays hot water into your carpet, then sucks up the dirty water. You can see the dirt you get out, dirt you didn't even know was there. The Power Spray Carpet Cleaner, a convenient carpet cleaner you can own yourself. Available at most Sears retail stores. Kenmore. <coughs> Solid as Sears. I ran to the park and sat by my fountain. It was still turned off and the park was empty. I forgot my lunch, so I bought a hot dog and a carton of coffee. I sat looking up at the fountain, not knowing what to do. I couldn't go back to work, not after what happened. 
I couldn't face those girls again. Mr. Berg. Or Jim. Mildred, isn't it too cold for this? You know, I followed you out, but you took off so fast I lost you. I've been walking around looking for you everywhere. Why? Why what? Why'd you follow me here after what happened? What happened? Stop it. Just go away. Well, first I have to apologize. For what? Well, I, I feel I'm responsible for the way Rita and Yvonne have been acting lately. Oh, no, you're not. It's not your fault. They're always at me like that. Why do you let them? So what can I do? Run to Mr. Berg? A lot of good that'll do. Quit. Quit? Sure. I'm... I just turned 50. Worked at tie pressing in Red Robin for 33 years. It's all I can do. It's all I know. I'm comfortable there. Well, usually it doesn't bother me, but with you... I'm sorry if, if I... Oh, it's not your fault. None of it. That's just the way those girls are. Oh, okay. I, I feel a little better about it. Well, the fountain's still off. Usually on by now. Well, it has been unseasonably cold lately. You know, we really shouldn't be out here. <laughs> I know. The family used to say, late spring, long summer. Family? Uh, parents. <laughs> no, I never was married. You? No. Any reason? If you don't want to say I it, I was so... close to my parents. Uh -huh. I dated, but I always had my pets, my music, my own life. Mm -hmm. Never felt I was missing anything. Uh, after the army, I went back to school on the GI Bill. The career started moving. Had no time for anything else. I've had a good life. Had? Suddenly, I feel so... Feel so what? Guilty. Yeah. My friends convinced me to date kids. I, I mean younger women. <laughs> but we had nothing in common. That's one problem I don't have. Young men want even younger women. Men my age, they're all married. I'm not. I'm not worried about staying single. Oh, me neither. But... Yeah, there's always one of those buts. You know, it's easy to live alone when you're young. But as the years pass... <sighs> I cry sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just cry. Then other days, I feel so happy I want to share it. You ever have an urge to call someone? In the middle of the night for no reason except to talk? <laughs> but I never did. No one would understand. <laughs> I guess we should feel pretty depressed. But I don't. I really don't. <laughs> you know, this is the first time I said all this out loud... And <laughs> you know, something that feels good. <laughs> Jim gave me courage enough to go back to work. But Rita and Yvonne were still trying to embarrass me. And again, they were succeeding. You and Franklin's finally getting it on, Mom? Come on, Yvonne. It's their age. What have they got left to get it on with? Oh, I guess you're right there. Hey, Mom, you two get into some heavy hand-holding. <laughs> Mildred? Ooh, here comes lover boy again. Ooh, ooh, you just can't keep away from her. <laughs> Jim, if you want to discuss anything, I think Mr. Berg would prefer... What I have to say to you concerns a very private matter. Now, listen up, everybody. Rita, Yvonne, you two been waiting for this. You can't be talking about us. We too busy working. Yeah. Well, you girls just try to tear yourselves away for a minute so you can hear what I have to say. Now, everybody listening? Good. Mildred, since we seem to have so much in common, like being over the hill, how about having dinner with me tonight? Well, yes, I'd like that, Jim. Thank you for asking. And thank you for accepting. Okay, you can all go back to work now. <laughs> what, no replies? Well, Mildred, I think we found a way of shutting them up. How about that? Oh, and no applause this time for our performances, please. Yes, but what could we do for an encore? Sears Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. All right. 
right, it's question and answer time. I know the questions, you know the answers, or do you? First question, who is the detective hero created by a famous female British mystery writer? Mm, I don't know. Right. Second question, which author was a creator of Sam Spade and a close friend of Lillian Hellman? Uh, Martin Mayonnaise. Correct for a thousand bobolinks. Third question, what is the name of the greatest killer of all time? Oh, oh, Al Capone. Bugsy Malone. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde, uh, 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 bullets. Correct for a thousand bobolinks. The greatest killer of all time is heart and blood vessel disease. It's no joke. More people die of heart and blood vessel disease each year than of all other causes of death combined. We'd like to change that. We're the American Heart Association. Call us to find out where free blood pressure screenings are being held. Remember, we're fighting for your life. Chills run up and down your spine. There's a creeping sensation at the back of your neck. You're listening to CBS Radio Mystery Theater. I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for these hour-long dramas of suspense, adventure, and the macabre. Heard seven times a week on most of these stations. Here's a sample of what we mean. What is happening? I don't know unless you're going crazy. You do. Here, drop. Yes. We've got to get out of this house. I don't know what it is, but we've got to get out. I knew there was something about that picture. Come on, Georgia. Hurry. Marion. Marion, look! It's moving. Oh, the lion is coming into this room. Run, Georgia. Run. Listen here for CBS Radio Mystery Theater seven times a week on most of these CBS Radio Network stations. The change in Mildred is remarkable. She sleeps easily. Human contact has been made, hands have reached out and touched. Can it last? Wait. We mustn't anticipate. Hello? Uh, this is your friendly efficiency expert. Oh, hello. After such a late night last night, will you be in to work on time? Well, may I ask the same question of my friendly efficiency expert? Uh, you may not. <laughs> <laughs> That's your menagerie? No, part of it. The birds will join in soon. Hey, like clockwork. Well, they're all hungry. Tippy's pawing at me for breakfast. Is that the 13-year-old? No, no, that's Maxie. Tippy's only 10. <laughs> that one sounds funny. That's Maxie. Hasn't been up to par lately. Time to see the VET. Uh, <laughs> so how's about a DRIVE? Huh? Accept my offer and drive to work with me. Yes, if you'll drive halfway. I don't have a license. What time do you want to be picked up? Jim, I don't drive. And if you don't think you're awake enough... So, you'll get out and push, okay? Jim and I kept seeing each other on weekends, in the evening, and unfortunately at work, too. Rita and Yvonne still joked around, but somehow, with Jim there, it wasn't so hard to take. Mildred? How many steps does it take you from your table to the inspector? Wow, we getting personal at work. Mm. How many steps does it take you, Rita? That is when you bother to step or to work. Yee-yee. Mom sure getting smart with you, Rita. Shut your face, Yvonne. Oh. I wouldn't brag if I were you, Yvonne. If your iron moved as fast as your mouth, maybe it'd start producing a full day's work. <laughs> okay, Mildred. Now, how many steps and which path do you take? <laughs> Not only was work made easier with Jim around, but it seemed lots of little things in my life that had always distressed me suddenly began falling into place with Jim around. According to Farmer's Almanac, it's this week or never for early corn. Glad we're going by the book. And finally, spring's coming. And you know what a man's fancy turns to. Gardening. I'm uh, not that young or old. Mildred, let's get married, huh? So we haven't known each other that long, but we've been around. You've been around? Well, we're both old enough to know that it's right. I just turned 50. I'm too old. Well, I'm 52 and I'm not. And being with you so much lately, I, I know I'm tired of living alone, of being alone. 
I want to marry you. Jim, I... Well, I'll have to think about it. Now, turn the page for peas and broccoli. Hey, I'm going to keep asking. See, you better keep thinking. And I did think about it. I could hardly think about anything else. At home or at work. Okay, shut it, shut, shut it down a minute. Shut it down. Now, I just got the report from Mr. Franklin, our efficiency expert. And you all don't really want to hear it, but you got to. So I'll take each department separately. Cutters, 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 into my office. You're first. So, <laughs> Mr. Franklin's gone, but not forgotten. Especially for Mom, huh, Mom? Hmm? Yeah, what's going on with you two? You gonna confide in your two best friends? <laughs> <laughs> Jim's... Jim's asked me to marry him. Oh, no! Are you kidding? <laughs> is it really that funny? It sure is for you. You must be some hot number, Mom. I guess you younger kids just don't understand. What do you mean, younger kids? We married, ladies. We got kids and everything. We done it all already. Sure. <laughs> we know the score. Yeah. What do you do that you think so special that we wouldn't understand? Well... Jim and I, we enjoy sitting at my apartment or his place, just watching TV and, and holding hands. Oh, does and it really hold hands? Jeez, I grab my guy's hand, he drags me into the bedroom. Yeah, it sounds so corny. But, uh, nice, you know. Hmm, real romantic. I guess older folks need that sort of thing. Just older folks, huh? I don't know. Maybe not. I was surprised at what Rita and Yvonne were saying. They respected me. For the first time in a long while, I thought about respect, and especially self-respect. What the girls thought meant a lot to me, and their respect for me helped me to respect myself. I knew I loved Jim, but I still couldn't make the big decision. Hey, Mill, where the hell you been? It's Saturday, remember? We only had a... Jim, Jim. Mildred, what's wrong? Uh, I was at the vets. He just dropped down, and, I, and I, well, I got him to the vets. Oh, but... Mel. <laughs> Max is gone. I'll be right over. <laughs> Mildred. Mildred, it's okay. It's going to be all right. I, I feel like I'm falling apart. <laughs> yeah, the others aren't doing too well either. <laughs> All right, come on. What? We're going out. Oh, no, I don't feel... Come on, doggies, we're all going to go out on a picnic. We're going to buy lots of junk food and get bored. I can't. You can and you will. Oh, but... Here, here's your coat. We're going. I want to sit down and think. We're going. Jim, please. Bye-bye, birdies. Where are we going? Anywhere. The beach? No dogs allowed. Mm. The park? Ditto. Oh, you name a place. I don't know. I can't think. Well, we'll drive around a while. For how long? Till the dogs need bathroom privileges, or we do. But not at my place. Why? Well, the carpet's not paid for yet. I had to smile. I didn't want to, but I had to. Jim was trying so hard to make me happy. So we drove around most of the day and ended up back at my house. The dog settled into sleep. Jim cooked some dinner. I didn't want to be hungry, but I was. Ah, uh, you will eat something. Yes. Good. You haven't eaten all day. And neither have the pooches. Oh, they miss Maxie, too. Probably more than you do. After all, he was one of them. Jim. Well, it just makes sense. You know, when a person dies, other people mourn him. When a dog dies, his friends who are close to him will mourn him, too. How can you be so sure? I'm sure. But you never had pets. Hey, when I was a kid, I had a dog. She died. I thought the world was over. I even thought of killing myself. But that's wrong. Even for a person about another person, it's wrong. Maybe if you got to go around twice, it'll be different. 
but you don't. That's why we should do something about... Looks good, what you're making. I'm sorry. I, I won't push. At least not now, huh? Not today. Are you feeling better, though? Yes. I have to admit I do. But you're here keeping me busy. After you leave... I won't leave. Jim. Not till later, Mildred. I'm not turning into a sex fiend this late in life. Here, let me dish some out for the dogs. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, you're angry because I'm feeding your cooking to the dogs? No, no, no. I made enough for all of us, but I'm... Look, I, I gotta do something. I'll be back soon. Mm. Hurry back, please. Sure thing. He was gone for hours. At least it felt like hours. And the memory of Maxie was all over the house. I couldn't get away from it. I, I felt embarrassed knowing what Rita and Yvonne would think and say about my crying over the death of a dog. Now they were even invading my private life, my weekend thoughts. When would Jim get back? I needed him. Then, at last, he was there. Miss me? What took you so long? Well, the place was closed. What place? How to get the owner out of bed. Who? Look, I know nobody can replace Max. I know that. But, uh, what, what's in your pocket? Which pocket? The one that's moving. <laughs> Gee. Well, Tippy and the others are like a new friend. Someone they can take care of and look after. Oh. Ah, uh, misses its mother, I guess. You brought it out of the cold, <laughs> cruel world from your nice, warm pocket, <laughs> gimme. Sure. <laughs> oh, uh, see? You like him? Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, really? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come, let's sit down. The three of us. Sure. <laughs> Pop likes being cuddled. Well, uh, so do I. Uh, hey, wh why don't you name him Maxie Jr.? Uh, I don't think so. I think Maxine's better. <laughs> I never was much good at that. Well, you're good at other things. Like what other things? Like being here when I need you. Making me smile when I don't want to be happy. Helping me through today. My pleasure. It is? Yeah, doing for you is my pleasure. Jim? It'll be my pleasure to marry you. Really? Yes, really. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, indeed. Um, uh, one, one more question. What? When? When? Yeah, when will we? I, I, mean, I mean, the date, can it be soon? How soon? Well, not right away. How about tomorrow? They wear them in Alaska, in Texas, in Maine. Wherever the territory's tough, the kids wear Sears tough schemes. The toughest jeans in Sears tough jeans territory. Fashioned from a permapressed tri-blend fabric so tough, kids can actually jump on trampolines made from it. Sears tough skins in boys and girls sizes. Now in later spring colors, styles, patterns. Brushed finish, too. You have tough kids, Sears has tough skins. Only in the children's store at most larger Sears retail stores and through the catalog. I love to eat. But it takes so long to cook. That's why we both love our new Kenmore microwave oven from Sears. I can cook a five-pound roast medium rare in just 30 minutes or three strips of bacon in three and a half minutes on a paper plate. Bake two potatoes in eight minutes and cook vegetables faster than boiling them in water. That means less time in the kitchen. And more with you. Fast, clean, cool cooking with Sears Kenmore microwave ovens, all with automatic defrost. Choose the right model for your kitchen from the many styles available at most Sears retail stores. The word's out and spreading fast about the jeans from Sears Men's Store that grow beautifully. It's a sure sign they're feeling fine and feeling good. For the denim that keeps going strong a long time. Get them trim cut, regular cut, even get them pre-washed. The jeans that grow beautifully. Now at most Sears retail stores. Tyson again. And here's the concluding act 
of the season of glad songs. Jim and I didn't get married the next day, or the day after that. In the throes of first love, we announced our plans to the world. The rejoicing that went out from us was not returned. Well, not by a long shot. Sure, when young kids say they're getting married, everyone makes fun and laughs. But we figured, being what society calls mature individuals, we'd be taken seriously. We figured wrong. Hey, <laughs> oh, open my next, Mom. Well, all right. Hey, Mom, you got some really great stuff here. <laughs> Mom, you know what this is, Mom? <laughs> y- yes, I, I think I do. If you don't, you ask Jim on your wedding night. <laughs> Hi, am I, am I too early? Right on time. Oh. Help, help me gather these presents together, will you, dear? Sure. You enjoy your shower, Mom? It was uh, nice. Jim, you keep your hands off of you-know-what till you-know-when. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Luigi's Catering. Uh, I'm Luigi, and thank you for choosing us. Well, you you come highly recommended. Uh, may I ask by whom? A friend. Uh, Ted Ruskin? His daughter used you? Oh, yes. It's a fine affair. Affair? Uh, yes, a uh, wedding reception. Oh. Uh, and, and this affair, wedding reception, uh, is for your daughter, your son? Us. You? And her? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> of course. Yeah, we were thinking of a big Italian feast, weren't we, Mildred? <laughs> yes, we're not Italian, but we love Italian food, so... A perfect choice. Although other establishments offer an Italian selection, I say in all honesty that they use inferior ingredients, stringy meats, low-quality produce. Oh, I'm glad we picked the right place. Oh, you did, sir. And, and now, for how many will we be preparing? Um, uh, how many did we say, Mildred? About a hundred. A hundred? Mm. You mean you're planning a gala celebration? Why not? Well, I mean, one would think you'd prefer a quiet, uh, dignified affair with several intimate friends and relatives. This isn't a first marriage. It is. Oh, oh, I beg your pardon. So you're sold on the Italian selection. Hmm? Uh, we start with a beautiful antipasto salad. Then appetizers, like eggplant caponata. Oh, sounds delicious. Oh, yes. This can be served before the ceremony. Then you have more time afterwards, you say. Uh, we're having a church wedding. A formal church wedding? Bridal gown, tux, everything. You're really going all out. Only go around once, right? And I was told that you could recommend a good swing band. Pardon? You know, Glenn Miller, the Dorsey Brothers, that kind of music. Swing. You're planning on dancing? No, we're planning on paying all that money just to sit and nod our heads. Uh, Tell us more about the menu. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, After the appetizers, the main course. You get three so your guests have their choice. How nice. Magnificent items, like mustaccioli with artichoke hearts and fresh tomatoes. Fettuccine Alfredo with fresh mushrooms. Veal scallopini alla cacciatore. If you prefer less spicy food... We... Why would we prefer less spicy food? Well, we don't want to offend the mature digestive system, do we? Uh, come on, Mildred. Uh, thank you for your time, Mr. Luigi. But wait, you, 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 you haven't decided. Yeah, we'll let you know. But, uh, don't be insulted. I was merely trying to explain. The affair should be low-key, more dignified, uh, considering your station in life. When we decide, we'll hobble in and tell you. so embarrassed. Embarrassed? Why? He acted like we were senior citizens or something. Well, I'm surprised he didn't suggest warm milk and gluten toast to remain coarse. <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh, the phone book is full of caterers. Pages and pages of them. You think anybody else will be different? Oh, surely there's at least one who's more interested in making money than gawking over the novelty of our marriage. It's turning into a sideshow. I'm so embarrassed. Hey, I... don't say that again. And why did you pull away from me? When? As we left Luigi's, I took your hand and... Oh, Jim, not in public. Look, it's not like I was trying to make love to you. Jim, please. Where are you going? Home to cool off. Well, shouldn't we settle this first? Settle what? In my mind, I think we're great. The marriage is terrific. 
Right now, I can't deal with the doubts in your mind. Now, you're going to have to try and work them out yourself. Good night. And I might have been able to, given enough time and a bit of consideration, but I was to have neither, particularly at the bridal salon the next day. A wedding gown for you? Yes. Well, uh, we don't stock... Well, uh, I mean, most of our customers are... Madam, have you considered a simple tailored suit befitting the uh, solemnity of the occasion? A suit? Yes, in a subdued color, like brown or, or gray, with, with maybe a hint... No, of... thank you. Well, I've got to tell you, you won't find anything anywhere else. This is the city's largest bridal salon. And thank you. Our seamstress may be able to alter one of our patterns to um, conform to your mature figure. But you don't think it's proper. It's not... No. <laughs> Not proper, huh? Oh, boy, that's something. Our money's just as good as any punk kid's. Jim, please. Oh, did I tell you? Your, your efficiency report came in at work. Oh? My, what an effect it's had. As soon as Yvonne and Rita open their mouths, Mr. Berg is out the office door shouting at them to go back to work. If we were 14-year-old kids. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They'd get taken seriously. Oh, look, Jim. Spring's finally here and they've turned the fountain on. Oh, isn't it lovely? Dignified, subtle affair. Simple, tailored, solemn brown suit. You know, I suppose I should wear a formal shroud. You know, they all seem to be talking about a funeral instead of a wedding. Jim, maybe... Uh, you know, I at least have one bit of good news. Besides the terrific effect my report's having uh, at, at Red Robin. My friend Bill's uncle, he, he's a caterer. And would do the wedding of two lepers if the money's right, so I made a deal with Wait him. Wait a minute, Jim. Plus, I got a line on a seamstress. 93, but still hand-sewing wedding gowns. Does a hell of a job, but charges a bundle. It'll be worth it. I'll, I'll give you the address. Jim. Jim, maybe... Maybe we should... What? We'll just... Just call it off. Call off the wedding? Why? You just said it. The marriage of two lepers... That's what people think. How can you ask why? Yeah, why? It's too late. People think of weddings, they think of June, orange blossoms. Hey, it is almost June. A 20 year old bride in a size nine gown. When people. People! Yes, people. There's, there's a world out there full of people. People we've got to be neighbors to, see at the market, attend church with. People who think what we're doing is, is almost. Obscene. Obscene? Is that what you think? That we're obscene? I don't know. I I don't know. Well, when I'm with you, I'm sure of everything. But out there with those people, strangers where we get stared at, mumbled about, even laughed at, mm. I, I don't know if I can deal with that. Jim, I... I I'm not sure of anything anymore. Mildred, I love you. You can be sure of that. Do you believe me? Yes, I'm sure of that. But not of me. Do you understand? I understand you. I'm so confused. I'm so scared. Mildred, this is right. More right than anything that's ever happened in my whole life. And in mine. Do you mean that? Do you believe that? Truly believe? You do. Yes, I do. Look, I can be strong for the both of us, but I need you to believe with me. Will you, Mildred? For me. Let us take a moment before the final blessing to listen to God's great gift to us this fine summer day. Birds are heralding the rebirth of our world and the birth of a new love. And now James and Mildred have asked me to share with you several verses from Solomon's song from the Holy Bible. My beloved spake and said, said unto me, me, Rise up, my love, my, my fair one. And come, come away. away. 
for lo, lo the winter is past. The rain, rain is over and gone. gone. The flowers, flowers appear on, on the earth. The time, time of the singing of birds is come, and the, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. It's our time now, Mildred. Our time, yes. Our time has come. Hi, I'm Bud Palmer, inviting you to the Sears Spring Home Appliance Sale. Come celebrate spring and save from $20 to $100 on selected Sears major home appliances. Save big on washers, dryers, ranges, and microwave ovens, refrigerators and dishwashers, sewing machines, vacuum cleaners, color TVs, and stereos. Celebrate spring. Save at Sears now. Sale ends April 28th. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available in most Sears retail stores. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Breaker, breaker, gay good buddy, how you making tracks these days? With four on the floor and winter twos on my feet. Winter twos? Yeah, they're shoes that just keep tracking and trucking. Winter twos have three stripes on nylon in super hot colors with super hot detailing, just like the expensive sports shoes. But I didn't lay out much bread for them. With a road stops, winter two shoes just keep going. You cop? Breaker, breaker, kids. When me and Grandpa put the hammer down, we do it in winter twos. Fasten your seatbelt, Graham. At most larger Sears retail stores. Shop where America shops with a Sears credit card. You'll be able to choose from over 100,000 Sears products and services at everyday low prices. Just say charge it. At Sears, it's satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. So visit your Sears store today to apply for your credit card. Or just phone toll-free 800-526-0444. Find out why Sears is where America shops for value. Remember, phone 800-526-0444. In New Jersey, residents call 800-652-2777. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. The season of glad songs was written by Annie Caroline Schuler, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your hostess was Cicely Tyson. Our stars were Francis Bay and Jack Crucian. Also heard were Louise Heath, Joan McCall, Shepard Menken, Jack Carroll, and Vance Colby. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. Hey, sit down, honey. Is this the first time you've interviewed an important celebrity like the old crooner? Gosh, you sure are relaxed. Is it just an act? No, honey, nothing bothers the old crooner. I just go out there and be my wonderful self. No tensions or anything? Not a thing, honey, except this young doctor told me the old crooner has high blood pressure. Are you following your treatment every day? Hey, no need to. Like I said, no tensions or nerves to hassle the old crooner. That doesn't matter. High blood pressure usually has no symptoms. No symptoms at all? Well, that's why it's so important important for you to follow your treatment every day, even if you feel relaxed. You have to control high blood pressure all the time. Well, actually, I don't think I ever heard you sing. Do you mind doing a few of your hits? Me sing? No, never sing anymore now that I've been elected governor of the state. Hit a few wrong notes there, too, huh? Uh (laughs) To learn more, the National High Blood Pressure Education Program urges you to consult your doctor, health department, heart association, or local high blood pressure education program. If I want to make sure I buy the right thing, then I look at a magazine. I look at a consumer magazine. I do a lot of price comparing before I buy. Well, if I'm thinking of buying a certain refrigerator or air conditioner, I ask around. I see what experiences people I know have had with that manufacturer. I found it best to check with my friends who have the product I want to buy. When I have to make a decision between two items, I just toss the coin. I just let my wife decide. I always buy things on Wednesday. I think that's my lucky day. (laughs) People have lots of ways to buy things. Some are good, and some are not so good. But one way that really helps is to read and compare warranties, just as you would price or quality. The law says, on purchases of $15 or more, warranties must be available for you to see before you buy. You'll find that some are full, and some are limited, so compare. A tip from the Federal Trade Commission. It's good to read warranties before you buy. And don't be bashful, because it's your money. 
Tomorrow's Sears Radio Theater will be a story of adventure with Richard Widmark as your host. Let's listen. They are crafty old warriors and will fight you only on their own terms. Nevertheless, you must challenge them, dear one. I can't believe that I'm beginning to believe in this fool's game. Warriors, warlocks, witches, and brujerias. So be sure and tune in tomorrow to the Sears Radio Theater.